All right, I've got a. Uh, so I don't have time to edit any of this. So we're gonna dive in. We're gonna learn. We're gonna learn. We're gonna learn. We're gonna learn. Our learning objectives, variables, arguments for each activity. We're gonna break it down first with writing a text file. We are gonna be defining in full text and output folder path in main. For testing purposes, we break this off into its own XAML file. This is a test. We are creating sample.txt. We will go ahead and just give this a run. As we go. This ran. We got this is a test. And in the main, we're going to define the output folder as data output. So that's where text file is going to go after we run the for each. The for each is going to loop through each of these strings and the string array. If only this was how novels were written, then I would be a good writer. So we are now going to look at the for each. We have a string argument type. That means we're looping through an array of string here. And for each string in this array of strings, we are going to assign that to sample text. To get the full text, we are going to take the full text plus the sample text to get to the full text. So when we loop through here, this will read as one sentence. We're going to use some lovely logging to bring it all together, stringing together a sentence. We see the counter and the full text. And then we are going to invoke the right text file, which we saw in testing the very beginning. Alerts here, and it's going to, okay, that was our default. So now we need to do output file path. So we need to tie it out there. So this is in an in argument, and we're assigning the value of that in argument with the output file path variable. Arguments typically happen between two people. So think of this as an argument because we are passing information from the main to the right text file. Let's see what happens. The index is 0, 1, 2, and 3. And we see that each string in the sample array was then concatenated with the rest of full text. We are passing that into the right text file activity with the associated output file path. When we hit refresh, we are going to see this. If only this was how novels were written, then I would be a writer. That is a crash course on variables, arguments, and for each activity. Questions and comments below. Go.